Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is 1.46 a.m. on this rainy Sunday night going into Monday. It is 37 degrees outside. It's chilly outside and I'm sneezing. I had the heat on to like 73 and I turned it down in here. And then I started sneezing. Uh, and I think I'm almost out of lip gloss. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Thank you. Ah, how are you guys doing this evening? I have water here and I have my coffee from brunch. And, uh, yeah. I took a little bit of a nap tonight. I laid down about... Well, I set my alarm for like two hours. I think I laid down about a little bit after nine. And I set my alarm for 11. And I ended up getting up about 12.30. And then, I hung out in bed for the longest time. Boo Radley came across and just was sitting on my chest looking around and stuff, so I was talking to little Boo Radley and telling him what a good boy he was and rubbing behind his ears, he loves that. And then um, I watched the end of this movie and now I'm here. So, I'm doing this new <laughs> series, series, on my review channel, and it's called Bad Movie Review Mondays, and um, it's like movies from like the 80s and stuff, or just any movie, you know, that people consider like a really bad movie. Like probably some shark movies will make it on there. But anyway, and I did a giveaway on my review channel, which not many people entered, but it's whatever. I think it's a fun idea. I wanted to start something different over there. Because I do so many Starbucks drinks. And um, a lot of the as seen on TV stuff that I wanted to review, the reality is that like... A lot of it is either A, expensive, or B, it's... Not stuff that like... I kind of want to pay $40 to have something and then try it and then like just get rid of it. You know what I mean? Because it's not something that I would use. And so that's part of the difficulty. The other thing is a lot of the stuff, the as seen on TV stuff is stuff that's like hard for me to use. Um, Cause some of the things are not easy on there or they're cooking things. A lot of them are cooking things and I don't cook, you know, so. I wanted to do some different things on my channel, on the review channel. I also um, am gonna do some advent calendars coming up. I have some purchased already. And what else? I have a bunch of dog stuff that I've been meaning to do for like a week and I was gonna put it together as one video. This coffee is almost gone. Um, So I need to do that. One is this bed that I was sent for free, this dog bed. And the dogs love it. Alex, uh, the other day was taking a shower and he told me he put the bed in the bathroom. And that, like, so the dogs had come in there while he was taking like a long shower. And he said he like poked his head out and they were both sitting side by side in this big furry bed that we have. It's like the coolest bed in the world and they just sink into it and they love it. It's hilarious. Um, so I need to do that video and then, yeah, but anyway, so I picked the winner today, winner, winner, chicken dinner for the review channel. I gave away, um, a year subscription to either Hulu, Netflix, or Amazon Prime, which I thought was kind of a fun giveaway. It was kind of different than what I usually do over there. Um, but I know that a lot of people already have those. So I contacted the winner on Instagram. She hasn't gotten back to me actually yet. And I told her, I said, if 
you know, you, you don't want one of those, I'll get you like a hundred dollar Amazon gift card instead. Because I think like Hulu, well Hulu right now you can get for two dollars a month, but that's with ads. And then Amazon Prime is like a little bit over a hundred, and I think Netflix is a little bit over a hundred. I'll make the difference. I'll give a hundred and twenty dollar gift card or whatever. I'll make it the difference if that's what she picks. Um, but I contacted her and she picked the movie Angel, which was kind of how I started this whole idea anyway, because this was a movie that I watched when I was a kid. I like love this movie. It's from 1984. So I would have been 12 when this movie came out, which means by the time that it made it on the cable, I was probably 14 or something watching it. I'm not going to get much of a review because I'm going to do that tomorrow in my video, but it's about this teenager who is an honor student by day at a private school and then She's a prostitute at night, and there's like a reason why. I actually, I really liked the movie, which is kind of funny. I mean, it's so corny, but I really kind of like these bad movies, you know? Like, that's part of the fun The fun of doing this series is I'm kind of excited to watch some of these movies. And um, so I watched it today. I, well, I watched half of it earlier while I was... Um, we went to brunch today, and I had the croissant French toast... And it was empty at brunch today. There was like nobody there. And I mean, we always get there late, but there was still nobody there. And then I got an egg salad sandwich with avocado and toasted whole wheat and chips to take home. So I was eating that and watching the movie. It was kind of really relaxing and nice. I was watching it on my computer. I like never watch movies on my computer. I always watch them on my iPad or my phone. But I had found this app that has like all of these movies for free. The only thing is that there's ads on it. I'm sure that there's like a way that you can pay for the ads to be off maybe, but it's called Tubi, T-U-B-I. And um, it's really a cool website. Like it has all kinds of free movies on it. And um, it has all these old movies, which is kind of crazy. So anyway, I started watching that and I watched like three, four, seven, and then I finished it tonight. And um, if I'm awake when I get done vlogging, well, I want to finish my audiobook because <clears throat> I have like 40 minutes of Ready Player Two left. Because, oh, I drove around today and I listened to like an hour and a half of Ready Player Two. So I have like 40 minutes left to finish of Ready Player Two, which I'm going to finish tonight. And then um, if I'm still awake after that, I might start Avenging Angel, which is the second movie in the Angel duology. <laughs> it's about this cop that, like, saves her in the first one. He's, like, murdered by the mob. And so she's, like, you know, trying to find justice, avenging his murder. Therefore, it's called Avenging Angel. But I have to say, what was interesting about the first one was, I kept on looking at the actress, I was like, she looks so familiar to me. So, you know, whenever I'm sitting there watching a the movie, I always like look up the cast of every movie that I'm watching. I don't know why I do this, but I always look up the cast and I'm like looking at their Wikipedias and stuff. So, M Molly slash Angel, Molly Stewart, the main character, honor student, Angel, prostitute, is played by Donna Wilkes. Donna Wilkes was also the cousin, the pretty cousin in Jaws 2 that comes to visit. And I'm like obsessed with Jaws 2. I actually probably like Jaws 2 better than I like Jaws 1. And if you guys know, I have like this huge fear of sharks. I'm like more afraid of sharks than anything else in the entire world. It's like my biggest fear. And I know it's totally an irrational fear, an irrational fear living in the middle of Indiana, but it is like one of my biggest fears. And, um, it's not one of my biggest fears. It is my biggest fear. The sharks. And, um... Planes scare me, too. I didn't used to be scared of planes, and I'll still fly. Because I'm like, you know, whatever. But plane crashes are a fear of mine, too. But anyway, getting eaten alive by a great white shark is, like, my biggest fear ever. But, you know, <laughs> like, I go in the water. I go in the ocean. Um... I don't know. So anyway, so she played the cousin, 
in Jaws 2, which is like one of my favorite movies ever. I actually think, I don't know if there's five Jawses. So the first one is the original on Amity. The second one is on Amity, and it's when they all go out on the boats, all the kids, and then he comes, uh, Roy Scheider comes out and saves them. And then the third one is at SeaWorld. I think there might be only four Jawses, and the fourth Jaws is with the mother, like so many years later, and she's like in Jamaica or the Bahamas, and like the shark has like followed her down there and her son is down there basically seeking vengeance as well because <laughs> a shark would do that you know so maybe there's just four that actually Jaws 4 would make a good movie for that movie review Monday so we'll just have to see how that series goes I'm just like really excited to do it I, it's something different you know which I think will be fun and, uh, yeah, so I did that. I had such a relaxing day today. So we got up, we went to brunch. I didn't make any videos today except for posting my vlog, um, which I actually didn't start uploading until later in the day because I like went and drove around after. I started telling this story about a friend of mine that I talked to today on the phone. Anyway, um, I drove around for a while today Talk to some friends on my phone. Talk to some friends on the phone and listen to my audiobook. And um, Alex just hung out in bed and watched this new show. It's called. I don't even know where he's watching it. If it's probably Netflix, he watches like everything on Netflix. I think it's called The Boys. It was like a very like shoot 'em up kind of show. I thought he was watching a movie, actually. And then I was like, is this a movie or is this a show? And then... It might have been, like... Like, some kind of, like, Marvel deal, kind of, too. It seemed kind of... He loves those Marvel shows. He watches, like, all of them. But there was a conversation. I was, like, falling asleep. Or, no, this was when I was watching the movie downstairs. He, I heard, I over, I was getting my food ready and stuff, and I overheard this conversation between, like, two of the women in the show talking about, like, what super power person did you want to be as a kid growing up, and one of them said Pippi Longstocking, and I shouted out, shouted up, I love Pippi Longstocking, who he probably did, Alex probably doesn't even know who that is, but anyway, I did, when I was a little kid, oh my god, I rented those movies with my dad so many times. Well, I really, I watched, like, Pippi Longstocking in the South Seas, but, like, I don't remember the last time that I watched one of those. Those would be actually another really good one for Bad Movie Mondays, because they're really horribly done, but, um, I loved the original Pippi Longstocking when she buys all the candy for all the kids at the candy store, and she's got those two little kids, a brother and sister that she's friends with. I actually like, have a good friend of ours, well, they live in Miami now, but this is not our friends that we visited down there, this is, these people are closer to my age. But anyway, um, I actually haven't talked to them in quite some time. She's from, why can't I remember where Pippi Longstocking in that movie is filmed from? But anyway, she's from the same country that the actress that plays Pippi Longstocking is from. Her name's like Erin something that plays Pippi Longstocking. And I remember talking to her when, like, the first night we ever met. I can see it in my head. And, um, I was like, oh, my God, something we got talking about. I don't know how we got talking about it. Um, where is she from? Why can't I think? Um. But anyway, I was like, oh my God, I love the Pippi Longstocking movies. I think I knew that the actress at that time was from the same country. And she's like, I grew up like being obsessed with her. Like she's a huge, huge deal in our country. And um, anyway, there's a Santa Claus sitting on the side of the road over there. Look at that. And it's just like on the side of the road. They have it behind in their backyard.
I want to say it's like Denmark or like the Netherlands or I don't know. I think maybe Denmark. Anyway. I should look it up. I'll have to pull in somewhere and look it up. So yeah, so I drove around today and I listened to my audiobook for a long time and then I watched that show and then I was doing my gratitude stuff earlier. Um, it's like day 21 or 22 of the gratitude. That I can't believe that we're going to finish, well, that I'm going to finish or whoever else is doing it with me, the magic book this week. It seems like, it doesn't really seem like I've been doing it for that long. And, um, I will say the activities at the beginning of the book were a little bit more intense than the activities towards the end of the book. Um, what was today's? I think it was about magnificent outcomes and like paying gratitude forward basically for a situation that'll happen or if there's unexpected situations that happen in your day, like throughout your day, like before like borrowing trouble, you just like thank the universe or your higher power or whatever for a magnificent outcome for however that's going to go. Like, you know, so like if your supervisor would say like, we're having a meeting today, just like, you know, and you, like you freak out instead you're like, thank you for the magnificent outcome for this meeting with my supervisor, you know, or whatever. And then like, you can do it for whatever, like, you know, I have an eye appointment tomorrow, so thank you for the magnificent outcome for my eye appointment to my, tomorrow, or, um, or I think it's say, say two or something. She has it written out how you say it. So yeah, I did that stuff. I feel like I'm spending quite a bit of time every day doing it, like a half an hour or so. Maybe longer than that, half an hour to 45 minutes doing the gratitude stuff every day. I mean, I feel so good doing it. Um, and it just really gives me kind of like a basis point of just feeling so grateful for the whole day. Um, where's my lip gloss? If you're out there and you've been thinking about doing it and you haven't do it, done it or you haven't done it yet or haven't bought it and you've kind of been putting it off, I would highly, highly recommend it. I mean, it's really, to be honest with you, the thing is that it kind of addresses every area of your life that you could be grateful for everything. And it's really hard to... I am... This lip gloss is so empty. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like so empty. Um, I use the hell out of this stuff. Um, I need to order some more. The thing is, is it's really hard to like lack gratitude when you're like constantly practicing it, which is the purpose of the book. And I actually thought about this today or was it yesterday? I don't know. I was like, I think for the next couple months at least, or the next month, or the next year, who knows how long, that I'm gonna keep on doing daily gratitude lists because it is, that part specifically has been so great for me to practice on a daily basis. Um, it has just been really, really helpful and really awesome. And the other thing is it helps me take a look at like my whole life and my whole, the day of like my life, like or the last day or two. And to look over everything in my life that I have to be grateful for. And I have to say that when you first started, it's like all of the things in your life, right? But by the day, time that you get to day 22, You've kind of like been grateful for all of like the major things that you know in your life, like the things I was listing yesterday. So by the day that you, or the time that you're at where we're at in the book, it's like very specific things, you know, like like I was grateful today for like Alex having off the last couple of days so we could spend time together, and I was grateful for what was something else that I put on my list for today? Um just like brunch today, I said, you know, because it was fun and because it was, you know, I was fed and it was food and it was, you know, so you listed the reasons why and 
So it gets very specific. Um, but then it really helps you get very specific in your life with looking at all the reasons why you should be grateful, you know? Um, and it's very cool. So, yeah. Um, so if you thought about doing it and haven't done it yet, I mean, the, the book you guys literally on Amazon is like $14.99. And I think it's worth every penny. I really, really do. Um, I, I would recommend, though, if you're going to do it, buying the book and, like, not doing it on the Kindle or whatever. If you're out there and you're doing it on the Kindle, I'd be interested to know, I'd be interested to know what your, uh, take is on it. But I think to, like, I still haven't trimmed this one here and I keep on forgetting to do that and it's driving me crazy. I think, like, to have the book in front of you and, like, I write in it and stuff and I'm, like, very, like, I bend the pages back when I'm reading it and whatever. I think it's just, it's one of those books to like have hands on if that makes sense. But who knows, you know, I guess it's depending on what you like. And you all know I like audiobooks, and th that book is great for me. I'm also reading Witch's Sister right now, which is this book that I read when I was a little kid that I absolutely loved. It's taking me some time to get into. I'm like only reading like two or three pages at a time. I don't love it. You think as much as I like talking about, I love this little hotel here, right? I've like driven in here before and shown it. It's well, Motel, historic Motel 6T7. And uh, this is vacancy, but it's always usually pretty full and it kind of is. It's like this motel on the side of the road over here. And I, one night I thought, like, well, maybe it's super historic and it'll be fun to go stay there. So I looked it up online and it, it looked like a 1970s motel, the rooms do inside. But anyway, to film a movie, I guess that would be kind of cool. But I don't know that I want to stay there for the night. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, you would think, as much as I like telling memories and telling, you know, reminiscing about the past, telling memories. If you're talking about memories or reminiscing about the past, you would think that I would just love to read all these books that I read as I was a kid. And the idea always sounds fun until I start it. And then, like, I really, really struggle, like, getting into it. Like, I just... I try so hard to get into these books, and I'm like, I just don't... I don't really love reading middle grade and elementary school books anymore, you know? And you would also think that I would just like tear right through them. And I just don't, I think that, that like that period has kind of passed for me. Like there's a lot of booktubers that really love like middle grade books and elementary school books. And that's fine, that's like what they love, you know? But like, and I'm talking about grown adults because there's so much imagination in them. And there's just, you know, I think it, they're just some of them very beautifully written. But they're very boring to me, honestly. Like, unless the characters are, like, truly captivating, like, like, I really struggle with the Lemony Snicket book. Like, I could, I really couldn't get through it. Like, it was really hard. I had to push myself. And I thought it was beautifully written. I thought it was absolutely beautifully written. Um, I think the other problem was, was that I had started watching the show on Netflix. So I had a picture in my head of the characters. What, what's the, the, Maya Rudolph, I love her, and she plays, I think, the judge on the show. So I kept on seeing her like in my head when I was reading it. And they're good, it was good, but it was kind of like, like when I was a kid, I would have loved those. Look at those little Christmas trees at Kroger. Those are so cute. Like, when I was a kid, I would have loved the Lemony Snicket books. But there were not good books like that when I... I mean, there were good books like that when I was a kid. But it was more like... Like, we didn't have tons of great series when I was growing up. We had, like, the Ramona Quim Quimsy series. Is that her name? And we had, like, Choose Your Own Adventure... And we had, I can't even think, you know? I love those Choose Your Own Adventure books, though. What else do we have? Well, like all those horse books, like Black Beauty and Misty of Chautauqua Valley, and <laughs> I never read those. 
And um, I feel like we did, there was some series though that I read when I was growing up. Well, there was, you know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and then Charlie and the Glass Elevator, but that was just two. Oh, the John Belair's books. Now, I did start listening to those last year. Do you guys remember that? Maybe I should pick those back up. The House with the Clock in His Walls. When did I listen to those? Is that earlier this year? I don't even remember. They're real short. You can buy them on Audible and listen to them in like two hours. Those were good though. I liked those. Yeah, I've never seen that movie, The House with the Clock in Its Walls. I keep on meaning to watch it and I just forget. Supposedly they're redoing Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile. Which I'm excited about. Because I loved that movie, the original. I wish they would redo Evil Under the Sun too. That one was fantastic. I think Maggie Smith was in that one. I've never seen this, this Mexican restaurant before. Me to... Me... Tanapa. It looks so good. I don't know why I'm craving Mexican food at in the middle of the morning, you know. Chips and salsa and queso dip and burritos and oh my god, like queso sounds so good right now with chips and salsa. I love queso and chips and salsa. And like a Coke. Oh my God, I love Coke from Mexican restaurants. People always tell me that it's because of um, like the Mexican Coke that they have at Mexican restaurants has like a different kind of, like it's like cane sugar or something in it or regular sugar. I don't know, but queso, hot queso. I wish there'd be like a Mexican restaurant open at 2.14 a.m. that I could just roll into and just have some queso and chips <laughs> and a Coke. <laughs> Gosh. Donuts sound good too. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I don't know why. There's like this little donut shop up here. It's like this square donut place. It's like this local bakery. I think it's a square donut place. I'll tell you when I pass it. But anyway, they're probably not in there yet, but usually about four o'clock in the morning, if I'm out vlogging out here at like four or five o'clock in the morning, they're, um, they're out here and they're, uh, I'm trying to think of what this area, I'm like losing my mind. I'm trying to think of what this area of town is called. Well, I was just by like Oak Landon Road. So this is, is this Oak Landon Road? I don't know where I'm at. I'm on the backside of Geist. Why can't I remember what this area is called? What street am I on? Am I on Oak Landon? I think I might be on Oak Landon. But anyway, this donut place up here, they're always open at like four or five o'clock in the morning and they're in there and it's like time to make the donuts. And they're in there like making the donuts and I think it looks so delicious. So anyway, right now, like a yeast donut sounds so good. Like just a warm yeast donut. Oh my God, when I was a kid, I love to get those frozen donuts at the grocery store. And my mom would always be like, they're so expensive, we're not getting them again. And I'd be like, please mom, I love them so much. God, my nose is driving me crazy. What is going on? But they were those, fr those uh, in the you know freezer section, those donuts, and they would come in like the plastic wrap, and then you put them in the microwave. Oh my God, they were so good. Do you remember those? Oh my God, I loved them so much. I, I went through this phase where I was obsessed with steak gums too. And my mom would be like, they are so expensive. Here's the donut place. Is this it? Oh no, that's elite beverages. Um, that means liquors. Okay. Um, it's right along here somewhere. There's Angel's Grooming. I kind of wanted to know what road I'm on. Broadway? That doesn't feel right. McCordsville. I'm in McCordsville. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what this donut place is because it's right up here. I thought this area started with an F. 
It's called Tim's Bakery. It's right there. We got a little Christmas tree in the window and everything. It's real cute. It's closed right now, though. So if you want a donut from Tim's Bakery, well, you're going to have to wait. Indiana is so small town, and I love it. Can we just talk about my cozy bedding, by the way, <clears throat> that I bought from Pottery Barn? And then we have the whitish gray faux fur blanket on it and all the pillows. And let me just tell you, the dogs love the faux fur blanket, number one. Number two, Alex is obsessed with the tartan red plaid duvet cover and um, pillow shams. Like I knew he would be. No, I didn't really think he would be. I thought he would like the other one more. Um, but he really likes it. And it's so cozy, you guys. I thought it would be too much. Although, I will say this. I wake up some... It's really warm. So, if you want something really warm and you're wanting to get a plaid one, Pottery Barn. It was expensive, but you can use it every year. <coughs> it wasn't too expensive. <clears throat> I think it was like $179 or something like that. I mean, you wouldn't have to get the pillow shams. I will say I got these sheets from... Uh, the Meyer, and they were like $25.99 for like king size sheets and they're very comfy but they don't fit on the corners very well so they're always coming up the, off the corners now, like I even said to Alex tonight like I was getting into bed and I said why is there no sheet, bottom sheet on our bed and he goes what are you talking about <laughs> the sheet had come off so far on my corner that it was literally in the middle of the bed so he had to get off, he was like, do you want me to get off the bed? So he's like, here, I'll just get off the bed. So I got, he got off the bed and then I like pulled it way up in the corner, but it's like, and I got the right size um, sheets and everything. They're just, sometimes we get like, if you get cheap sheets, they don't stay on the corners that well. But, but that's just cause I wanted like nice red or I wanted red sheets to go underneath it, which are totally cozy. I will tell you, it's really cool to get into a red bed every day with red tartan, I mean, especially at Christmas time. It's really fun. Um, so yeah. But the dogs love it and I love it. But sometimes when I wake up, this is what I was gonna say, sometimes when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, ooh, it's a little toasty in here. I'm a little warm. We're supposed to have like heavy snow tomorrow. Did I say that on my vlog last night? We're supposed to have heavy snow, but it doesn't, like it's 39 degrees. We're not gonna have heavy snow at 39 degrees. I mean, it would have to, have to be below 30, first of all, which means the temperature would have to, this is where like Indiana always gets it wrong. And watch I say that and then tomorrow we'll get half a foot of snow, but it would have to drop below 30 degrees and then it would have to basically snow for like the better part of the day for us to get like heavy snow. Which means it'll flurry and that'll be it. It's always so frustrating to me because I always wanna get heavy snow. Then we don't. I have my literature meeting tomorrow night my Zoom literature meeting. Tomorrow I have an eye appointment at nine o'clock. Alex is at 8.45 and I'm at nine. And um, it's so funny because my friend that I always talk about, he used to work, he used to, because he's a laser eye surgeon, he used to um, work where we're going tomorrow. So I was texting him today about that. But anyway, um, I have that at nine. So I should be out of there by no later than 10, I would think. And I'm probably gonna be exhausted. So I'll probably come back home and sleep till like 12 or one. And then get up and make some videos. And yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do tomorrow. I don't really have a whole lot else that I need to do tomorrow. Just that. So I come home and do that and then... I'm like in my head thinking about like my videos for tomorrow that I want to make. Well, I've been wanting to do a rant video for my drama channel, but I don't really know what to rant about. I don't really have anything to rant about right now. So, I don't know. 
And then, um, my review video, I'm doing Bad Movie Monday reviews. And then, my meditation channel, I'll probably just do, you know, purism, so I'll just do a meditation and read that. And then, I'll probably do like a catch up on the magic book, because I haven't really talked about it a whole lot in the last couple days. And then, I talk about it over here more than I do on my purism's channel. And then I did like two booktube videos. Well, maybe I'll do a, a booktube video talking about Ready Player Two if I finish it tonight. And I don't know if I, my Peter Does Stuff channel, like I just kind of make videos over there like when I'm feeling it, like, you know, it's just like spur of the moment. It also has a lot to do with how my day goes. Like <clears throat> if it's getting late in the day, I mean, yesterday was kind of strange that I did that video so late, but I was hungry and I was like, well, I'm just gonna film this while I'm heating up this food because I thought that would be kind of a cute video. And um, just kind of laid back and talking about food, which I love to do. But like, I don't like to start getting like that late into posting videos. Plus tomorrow my goal is, because I'm always, it's like five, it's like five or 10 minutes before my live, uh, my, my Zoom meeting, my literature meeting. It's always like five or 10 minutes before and I'm rushing out around and I'm hooking up, you know, extension cords and making coffee and I'm always like down to the very, lighting candles. So I always like to have candles around me while I do my literature meeting and I like to make a cup of coffee. And um, last week I used my Starbucks Vancouver cup that I was sent that I love. And um, I got a new Christmas cup, so maybe I'll use, I got it at the Meyer, so maybe tomorrow I'll use my Christmas cup. But um, I love my Star, the Starbucks mugs that people send me, like they're really nice mugs. And I love when they say like different states and cities and stuff on them, it's so cool. But anyway, so I have to get all that stuff ready. Well, I'm always rushing, and then when I get into the literature meeting, I'm always like the last one in. So tomorrow, I wanna be like, everything set up and ready to go at 7 30 and then i can just sit down at like 10 because they all get on there at like 10 till and they're just like chatting and stuff because we started at like right at eight o'clock so i need to be ready for tomorrow yeah yeah I can't believe we're going into the first week of December. It seems crazy to me. It seems really, really crazy. two new bags tonight. I, um, I'm not like a big fan of Coach, but, so when Alex officiated this wedding, well, first of all, I've been using my, like this messenger bag that I have in my fanny pack and stuff like that. I've been like using it all the time and I've been like, like carrying it into stores and restaurants with me and like, I'm really like using it as like, like a purse, like a bag. Like I'm carrying my bag in like everywhere I go. And I'm actually like, like this one doesn't have tons of stuff in it. I have, like I have my wallet in here. I have my reading glasses. I have my like a leave for my headaches, which I haven't had the last couple days, which has been really nice. I have hand, this hand sanitizer by Sol de Janeiro, which I love. I keep my lip gloss. I keep one lip gloss in here now. And I used to keep like 10 lip glosses and lip balms. I keep one lip gloss and one lip balm. And the lip balm that I have is the matcha green tea that Valerie got me from Anthropology. And then I have a pen. And it fits my camera so I can put my cam, that's it. That's all I have in here. And then the front pocket, I can, oh no, 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 no. And then I have eye drops too, like re-wetting drops for my contacts. And then in the front pocket, um, I can put my wallet, which matches my bag. And then I can put my, um, what do you call it? Batteries in here. So, I, w 
was on Instagram tonight. I, I didn't used to be a huge fan of Coach. I thought they would have some cute stuff from time to time, but I just didn't love Coach. So Alex, when he officiated that wedding, the girl that we're friends with, um, that's like his high school college friend, she called me and said like that she and her fiance were at the mall and they were gonna buy, they know that Alex likes fanny packs because we both love fanny packs. And she had found, and he, Alex wears his like across his chest, and that she had found this one at Coach and she wondered if Alex would like it. And she sent me a picture of it and it was adorable. It was like this beige one, they still have it on their website. It was like this beige one and it had like this round circle thing on it that was like really cool. And um, it just was cute, it was real cute. And he's been using it ever since. And so tonight, like I was going through Instagram and they're ha they were having like a massive sale this weekend. They were having like 50% off. And the same kind of like motif that they had or style of his fanny pack, they had what's called a camera bag. And it literally looks like a, a bag that you'd keep your camera in, right? But it's a, like a cross, it's like a crossover messenger bag, but it's like this big. It literally just stopped. Okay, so it's like a camera bag. It's called a camera bag, but it's, you can look them up on Coach website, but it's like a crossover messenger bag and they're like this big. And there's like a zipper in the middle. And um, so the one I found is like, it was like, 295, 50% off. So it was like 147. And you know, a lot of times we go out to dinner and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, I was actually have been thinking about like, cause I really, really like this uh, messenger bag that I have. I was like, well, maybe I'll invest in like a little bit of a more expensive messenger bag, you know, and give that to myself for like my sobriety birthday or something. But I was thinking of a lot more than, you know, 147. And so then I found these tonight and I was like, you know, I would totally use the crap out of these. Like, I love these. And so there were two. One is beige and it has these little uh, monster patches on it. These like patches, it's cute. It's really cute. It says, mon they don't look like monsters to me, but it says monster patches or something. And it's, but anyway, the picture that they have it on um, the website is this guy and he's got it as like a crossbud body thing. And then the other one is called a Varsity um, crossover bag. And it's blue and it has like red zipper and lining and stuff. And then like, a, it's really cool. And it has like bungee cords for like the pull tabs and stuff. It's really cute. So I was like, they're 50% off each. So I got both of them tonight. And then I've been buying stuff for people for the for Christmas too. It's funny because I like randomly I was like thinking, should I say something about this on here? Because I don't want to give it away. And I know people contact Alex, but anyway. <laughs> I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, so it's not like it's gonna. But Alex loves the band Rufus to Soul. And it a lot of the songs remind him of Pee Pee and his friend Jason that passed away. So the summer, I was just sitting around and I thought like because Alex was talking about like wanting merch from like Ultra Music Festival or something. And so I started looking at that and then all of a sudden I was like, I wonder if Rufus to Soul has any merch. So I got, of course they have a whole merch store, right? I love Rufus to Soul too. The song Treat You Better is probably like one of my favorite songs. I have like every mix of it, of which there's only like two or three. But anyway, I listened to it in the airport when we were flying back from Florida. Um, okay, this thing keeps on turning. But um, but um, um. <laughs> so I bought this T-shirt for him. He, you guys, he got so emotional when he opened it. He was like, "Oh my God, this means so much to me." And 
So um, I want to find him something else like that that's like really meaningful for Christmas. Like I have like a like a big ticket item. Is that what, I said that the other night too? Big ticket item. Is that what we call it? I have like a big ticket item that I want to get him for Christmas, and then I have some smaller things I want to get him as well. So we'll see. still out tonight. I mean, it always is on Sunday nights, but there's just not like tons and tons of people out. I don't know why that surprises me. <laughs> now, see, the problem is now I'm wide awake. So, I'll listen to my audiobook. You know what I wanted to do? Is I wanted to read some comments. So maybe I should <clears throat> go to the post office and finish this by reading some comments. Um, whenever I go to the post office, I always get scared just sitting there. Make sure the lock works on my door. So anyway, um, yeah, the problem is now I'm awake, and so I'll listen to my audiobook and I'll finish that because 40 minutes isn't that long to finish it. And <clears throat> then I'll either go home and start Avenging Angel when I need to be going to bed so I can get up in the morning for my eye appointment. I need to leave the house at like 8.30. I already have my paperwork filled out because they sent it to us. So I have that all ready to go. I also think I'm going to buy a new pair of glasses. This is going to be my thing. Well, first of all, I'm getting on that 1-800-CONTACTS. And I'm going to buy like a year full of contacts because I'm not going through this again where I'm worried about like being out of contacts. I'm down to like one pair. And then the last time I got new glasses was like, my prescription hasn't really changed. I don't, well, it was the last time my prescription changed and it's been a couple years. And I'm like, I want some, and I have these Ray-Ban glasses that I hate and they don't like, they were like sunglass frames that I ended up having them make into glasses and it just didn't look very well or very good. So, I want to get something different. I really like, I wish Caddis, it's my reading glasses, I wish they made like pres prescription glasses, but they don't. I actually looked on there to see if you could just buy the frames. But then to just buy the frames and have them sent and you have to hire somebody, I mean, it just would, I wish they had very similar frames to that that you could like have made into prescription glasses that you can just do it through the website, you know what I mean? Because I love those glasses and they're so heavy and sturdy and I would literally wear them all the time. I think I would actually probably wear my contacts less if they had those um, as regular glasses. Someone the other day was like, how many pairs of those do you have? And I have two pairs of the progressives, which I don't love the progressives. I thought I would, but I don't. Um, it's really hard for me to get used to them. And you're supposed to kind of wear them all the time to get used to them, but I'm just not. Um, and then I have three pairs of the reading glasses. I have a black pair, I have a clear pair, and then, which are called the Miklos. And then the black pair is called Porky and Bass. And um, the clear pair, and the tortoise shell pair are both called Miklos. And um, I love all three pairs. But the thing is, like I wear them and I take them off and I put them down somewhere. So I wanted to like keep a pair next to my computer, keep a pair next to my bed, keep a pair in my bag, 
Okay, that would be three. And then with the progressives, remember I talked about it on here. I had a whole plan of how I was going to do it and everything, right? Well, that doesn't happen. What happens is all three glasses end up in the exact same place, which is so silly. But, um, yeah, and it's just kind of like what I'm feeling like today. Like today, I took the black glasses to brunch with me instead of like the, well, I had the clear ones with me, but I took the black ones with me. I love them. They're all like just, they're so comfortable. And, um, I don't know, when you get to the point where you have to have reading glasses all the time, it's like, like I have two pairs that are, um, <laughs> I keep them in the bathroom, honestly. And they are just, they're just constantly like falling, they're just, they're not high-end glasses. And like now, like, because I pick them up, you know, like you pick up the reading glasses like with your thumb and your forefinger, it's like, they can't ever really get clean at this point. There's like, they're constantly dirty and have like grease from my fingers on them and stuff, you know? It's like, cause I'm taking them. And I actually asked Alex that the other day, cause you know, he wears glasses all the time. And I said, I remember when he tried to wear contacts and he really like could not put the contact in his eye. He was like, I don't know how you do this every day. He was like so frustrated. And I was like, babe, it's not that hard. He used to like, he's like, yeah, but you're touching your eye. And I was like, and he goes, oh, that weirds me out. Don't do that. So he just chose to wear glasses. He looks so cute in his glasses anyway. Like, I think he looks sexy and I'm, I love him. My sexy, cute glasses wearing man. Anyway, the other day he wore his, um, Ray-Bans. He hadn't worn them in a while because he usually wears these wire uh, ones that he has. But anyway, um, oh, that website. Maybe that's the website I should check for glasses that he got his through. I think he actually did like a sponsorship with them. So I said to him, I said, your glasses get dirty. And he was like, oh, all the time. And I was like, really? He was like, oh yeah, they're constantly dirty for me, like taking them off and rubbing my eyes and stuff. So, I mean, I haven't worn glasses every day in a long time. When I first started working in treatment, I wore glasses a lot. Um, I had these little round rim glasses that I wore. They were like these Oliver people's glasses. They were so cute. I actually have them at home somewhere in the case. It might mess drawer in the kitchen somewhere because they have like a little screwdriver to like fix I had to constantly be fixing them they're really cute um I mean I wouldn't wear them today but and I had really well I guess I same I don't know maybe my hair was a little bit shorter back then I mean I was super thin too so they looked a lot better on me I was probably 155 160 pounds I can't even believe I was ever that way. It seems crazy to me. I guess I could be again if I actually wanted to do some real work, you know what I mean? All right. I haven't, I don't know when the last time I went into the post, maybe it was yesterday. I was like, maybe, I can't remember the last time I went to the post office, but it doesn't feel like it was yesterday. So let's check the weather for tomorrow and see if it's still saying that we're going to get snow. <sighs> no, now it's saying high of 37, low of 25. It doesn't even, I don't think it's like showing snow on here for tomorrow. No, there's no, oh wait. Monday. Rain and snow in the morning, transitioning to snow showers in the afternoon. High 37. We're not going to get any snow tomorrow. That's live straight from the pit of hell. And then it goes up into the 40s. And yeah, they're going to tease us with the snow. Okay. Dream. Dream, dream, dream. When I Let's see the comments. Karen and Lana both put hearts. Hey, Linda said, love the Christmas lights. Amber said, Grace is my middle name. Amber Grace, I like that. Um, 
Emily said your driveway vlogs are some of my favorites and I've been watching for maybe a year now before COVID. Oh, thank you. Share Bear said, please keep vlogging in the nighttime. It's so much more cozy. Amber said, you're very smart. <laughs> K. Cordy Curly said, I'm just curious. I'm sure they make the Impossible Burger on the same grill, so cross juices. You have to ask for them to make it in a microwave. That's how you don't cross juices there. But when you are a vegetarian and you go out to eat anywhere, you kind of assume at some point, and I actually, my friend that's been a vegetarian for 30 years, she told me this. She said, you're going to be cross-contaminated at some point. So to be a pure vegetarian in this world, the only way you can really truly do that is to cook for yourself at home. And she said, if you're ever going to go out to eat, you're going to be cross-contaminated at some point. <clears throat> I don't beat myself up that much about it anymore. You know, the, the truth about it is when I started being a vegetarian, like I did it because I wanted to reduce my carbon imprint on the world. And then I did it, um, I just kept on doing it, you know? And then what happened was, I think it was about three or six months into being a vegetarian. I don't know how long it was. I talked about it on here actually, but I started getting a lot of really like critical comments on my vlog about like, well, you don't do this or you don't do that or you did this wrong or you did that. And you know, like this is the deal, okay? When you're a vegetarian, if you've been a vegetarian for a while, I mean, I've been a vegetarian now for over three years. It's a learning process. You learn as you go. You don't know everything, right? So you learn things as you go. And that's why I think like with people that are like more plant-based, like I'm not a vegan um, and I don't think that I ever will be a vegan. I don't, and I have friends of mine that are, I have a lot of friends of mine that are vegan, but I'm not. And I try, just try to do the best I can living plant-based as, as much as I possibly can. And if I get something wrong and somebody educates me on it, um, then I learn from that and I do it differently the next time. And that's just the best that you can do as a vegetarian living in our world that we live in. Um, I don't, I never claim to be perfect. You know, I can, I try to learn as I go. And, and that's what I tell people like when they come to me and they're like, so I just became a vegetarian. Like, I don't know, like, I, you know, I'm afraid that I'm gonna get something wrong. I'm like, well, first of all, make sure that you're doing it for you and not for everybody else. And that's what really was happening was I was like so worried that like I would do something wrong and then somebody would criticize me for it. And I called my friend, she's been a vegetarian for like 30 plus years. And she was like, um, she was like, Peter, she was like, you're not gonna be perfect with this. So. She was like, just, you know, there is no perfection with it. She was like, you need to just be, stop beating yourself up. But yeah, I did learn that about the impossible, um, the impossible burger is that you have to ask them to microwave it. So anyway, uh, Jessica said, hillbilly elegy is fantastic. Triggered me a tad because it was so well done. I grew up with a mom very similar to the mom in the movie. Wonderfully done. I want to see that. Linda said, Peter, I got me a new white goose comforter from Kathy Ireland. <clears throat> I forgot Kathy Ireland. I just love it. What I can't get over is it's plenty enough for winter and works for spring and summer. I've never figured out how that works. Goose down is my favorite. Peter, thanks for the vlog. Thank you. Um... Cheryl Lania said it's about 35 degrees Celsius here in tropical North Queensland. I'm almost balmy, or it's almost balmy. I'm wearing a cute little sundress, playing with makeup. About to go over to a friend's house for a barbecue. He has the sweetest puppers. They look like Boo Radley. Love you, Peter. That sounds to me like, um, what, were, what was I going to say? That sounds to me a little bit like a movie. I don't know why. <laughs> sounds like you're, That sounds like an ideal day to me. Uh, Beth said, Peter and I yawned at the exact same time. Was it super, was it super weird for me? Okay, huh? Um, Tiandra said, perfect. On treadmill blogging. Take care and stay warm. Hey! Love you, Tiandra. Tim Clark said, I honestly think as sad as 2020 was, it needed to happen. I've lost a family member and several were sick. I was out of work for eight months. In the past, 
um, I in the past have struggled with anxiety and I thought this would have crushed me. However, I feel okay. I feel it will be okay. That is so much strength right there. I love that statement. I also love your channels. They all mean something different for me. My kids call you Uncle Peter. Your blog I listen to when I cook dinner or wash dishes. Your Peterisms is when I shower and get ready for bed at night. It gets me calm after a fast day of my five kids or work. The other channels I put on when I drive are clean. Aw, thank you. She said thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Joanna Tall said, I love the driveway vlogs. Make me nostalgic for March in a weird but comforting way. Me too, kind of, I think. Sue said, I hope you get snow. I love to be at home and watching the snow fall. So cozy. Manny, or Sarah Bear said, Sarah Bear said, Manny's looking pretty cute lately. <laughs> Manny is cute. I think he's a cute guy. I don't understand why he doesn't have a boyfriend. I know he wants one. Sabrina said, yes, I would love to see the lights. Okay, Maricela said, anybody who wants to see the Christmas lights display, Peter mentioned around the one hour mark. It's titled, More Gossip, December 11th vlog, December 12th, 2017. It's around the 10.30 mark in the vlog. Thanks, Peter, I don't drive. So seeing th things like this is rare for me. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> Marla said, the audible version of McConaughey's book is the best. And... Steph oh hey Stephanie said Green Lights fan. You know what is interesting is I was talking to Valerie about that today and she said there's so many like personal notes and stuff in the book. She said I'm gonna give you she's gonna give me the book when she's done with it. But she said it's almost like cooler to see in person. So now I kind of wish I would have gotten the real book, honestly. But I'm I'm excited to listen to the audio the version of it, the audible version of it too. Alyssa said, we're supposed to be getting snow by Cincy tonight, Cincinnati. Meanwhile, my whole family back in Minnesota has had for weeks. If we're not getting it here, I don't think you're getting it in Cincinnati. I'm just saying. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't think you are. Um, Amy said, good evening, Peter. Smoky Mountain Christmas is on YouTube. Yes, I know. I have watched it many, many times. It's on YouTube. Sean said, Peter, it's going to be 32 degrees tomorrow morning in Louisiana. I love when the weather gets colder. We haven't had snow in years. She's putting all these snow emojis too, which I love. I wish it would snow here. That would be awesome. I hope you get some snow. Who replied to her? Let's see. Linda said, Sean, enjoy your week. Stay safe. And Emily said, LOL, I'm in Lafayette. It's going to be 43 degrees. Snow would be a nice change from the rain and humidity for once. And then Jess said, hey, Peter, can you keep the S word in Indiana, please? I was like, what's the S word? Snow. <laughs> Kim said, I'm in Cincinnati and we have snow coming. I'm not ready. I'm going to look on the weather. If they're getting snow in Cincinnati and we're not in Indianapolis, I'm going to be so mad. Look at this. Watch me be. You guys are going to about to see me freak out here. I'm going to be so mad. I'm just a second. Cincinnati, Ohio. daily. It's raining there tonight. It's 55. Y'all aren't getting any snow tomorrow. Cloudy with rain and snow in the morning. Light snow in the afternoon. That's what it says. 38 degrees. We're none of us getting any snow. Cincinnati. <laughs> WKRP in Cincinnati. The reason I say I'll be mad if they get it is because we're literally like two and a half hours north of Cincinnati. So I want it if they're getting it. Allison said, Peter, I get to watch your vlog before turning in for the tuning in turning in for the night. I'm thrilled. Yay! 
Ultimate Gamer 47, I said, I heard the end is good. Ready Player 2. Okay. So, I don't really want to ruin it for anybody, but, like, the pop cultural references of Ready Player 2 are, like, a thousand times better than Ready Player 1. Um, there's this whole thing about Prince. <laughs> there's this whole thing about, um, like, the Smiths, the band, which is, like, my favorite band of life, is in there. It's just, like, there's so many pop cultural references to things that, like, when I was in high school or growing up that, um... It's just pretty unbelievable, I have to say. So, there's a whole J.R. Tolkien, Tolkien thing, which I don't really care about. But, like, if you like J.R. Tolkien, you would absolutely love it. So, um, there's all these different, like, well, they're, like, on this journey, you know, like they were on before. So, it's very similar to that. Um, Monet said, good evening, Peter. I finished the book I was reading. I'm going to start reading a cozy mystery. Yay! Twyler said, is irked, said, always cozy with a Peter vlog. Ultimate Gamer said, we were supposed to get snow today, Tuesday in Pennsylvania. Aaron said, we will get a dusting down here in Bedford then. Oh, Aaron, you're from uh, Bedford, Indiana? Oh my God. One of my mom's dearest friends is from Mitchell, Indiana. She's Bedford, Indiana. She's still alive. If you're from there and you've lived there all your life, you would probably know her. Um, Celeste said on Movie Night Memories, you talking about your marriage makes me believe in lasting love again. Aww. Ambrosia said, I remember in high school, I played soccer with a girl from Indiana. This was in rural Texas, 1999, and she would wear her Birkenstock clogs with high wool socks. That's such an Indiana thing to do. I do it. <laughs> and I thought she was so cool. Now I wear my Birkenstock sandals with wool socks anytime I camp or around the house in the winter, just saying socks and wool sandals is cozy. It is. And who really cares how you look? I mean, in Indiana, we don't really like, I mean, that's why it's just, they make a joke about like Indiana, like, all the girls, like, in their 20, early 20s wear, like, college sweatshirts, jean shorts, and uh, Uggs. But it's, like, totally the truth. Like, that whole, like, basic kind of, like, joke that, that the meme, like, I mean, it is kind of true. But, like, we're all about the North Face and Patagonia coats. And, I mean, we're, we're kind of basic in Indiana. You know what I mean? We just, it's all about comfort here. Peach said, okay, Peach, I love that, by the way, said, okay, tell me why I'm at the gas station right now, and she rings like a bell through the night, just came on, beast. It, Rihanna, and I love that song so much. <laughs> Laura said, guys, let's all pitch in and get Peter the best camera battery. I had the best camera battery ever for Christmas. Must be so annoying to have it shut off all the time. I have three of them. <laughs> Xavier said, have you ever seen Grace and Frankie? Yeah, I've seen every season up to now. Um, Addie said, has anyone seen the movie Uncle Frank on Amazon Prime? It's about an older man coming out to his family. Tear jerker. Tanya said it was fantastic. Um, Magic Me said, I remember when my mom came out as gay, came as gay, my mom came as gay out to me. I was okay with it, but I wasn't quite sure what to say, so I said something like, huh. And here I was thinking this was going to be just another dull Monday. <laughs> anyway, she laughed so hard she peed herself a little. I love that story, that's so great. I had my head down reading comments, and I didn't even realize that the battery had died. Like, not like just like I had gotten to the end, but like it had literally like died. And I was sitting down here, and I finally like looked up to say something, and the camera was turned off and everything. And so like I turned it back on, and it was like the camera, like the red thing was flashing, and I was like, it's totally dead, and I had to change the battery. <laughs> I don't know why it's cracking me up so much. Anyway, 
Oh my god, and look, <laughs> I have another battery. See, I have enough batteries, because <laughs> I'm afraid that I'm gonna run out of batteries. Okay, <laughs> let's read just a few more comments. <laughs> oh, my Lanta, okay. Okay, now I lost my space on here. Uh, Navid said, I'm like looking at my camera, I better talk. I so relate when talking about having gay guy friends. I haven't really been around any gay people in a while. I think that is why I love watching your vlogs, like catching up with my gay bud. Thanks, Peter. Oh, that makes me happy. Eddie said, you rock. You do too, Eddie. Eddie said, I'm just gay. I honestly don't fully understand the rest of it, but hey, do you? Oh my God, all of these comments from Eddie right in a row. <laughs> um, Eddie said, my gay best friend is a woman, LOL. She's my grace to my will, but I get it. Guy time is cool. The Artful Colorist said, Peter, I am on day nine of the magic book. I totally know what you mean. It's so hard not to be happy and grateful. I know that, the, I know that, that this book has changed me. My eight year old son asked me for my gratitude list. He said, he says, thank you three times with me. Thank you for talking about the magic book. It has really helped me in such a profound way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love that. Brian said, I don't get the hype over the Starbucks cups. They don't keep beverages cold for very long. Yeah, you're, that's true. <laughs> I would totally 100% agree with that. But I mean, can we just talk about this cup for a second? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what the hype is over this cup, but I love them. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, I have them all over the place. I have, I think I have more back there anyway, but I totally agree with you. They don't keep the drinks cold. Oh, here's Eddie again. Eddie said, I came out to everyone in 2012. I was 22. Well, happy 30th, Eddie. The guy I was dating gave me, see, I just did that math in my head. See how smart I am? The guy I was dating gave me the courage and I thank him, but he ended up being a complete douche. <laughs> Tracy said, when you said Alex called you after the movie, my heart melted. Okay, this is after the movie. Um, oh, it just started like raining really hard. This is after the movie, um, Boys in the Band. He said, she said, I liked the movie and I thought Jim Parsons was amazing, but I cried a lot. I hung out at gay bars from 18 to 35-ish and I have seen some shit. Friends getting jumped, getting verbally abused by, okay, that, yeah, it's happened to all of me and my friends. I've been spit on. I pulled strangers off my friends with my then vodka strength. We didn't need fake IDs. Clubs in Philly didn't card us in the 90s. It still breaks my heart that this goes on today. I'm so glad your parents were supportive of you. Love love is love is love. Thank you so much, Tracy. And yeah, it was hard. I don't think people understand it. We were scared to come out of clubs back in the day. You know, we were scared to come out of gay bars. We felt safe in there. And I think, like, that's one of the things that people don't understand, you know, about, like, the necessity to have, like, like what gay pride is and things like that and it's about being proud of who you are inside you know not being ashamed because we lived so long like in shame of all of that i did i know i know i did um which like that's why it's important for me today to be proud of who i am to be a proud gay married man to be a proud person in recovery because those were things that i was ashamed of you know and i'm not gonna live in i'm not gonna live in shame today um i'm just i refuse to do that But I have to tell you that my husband, this was so sweet. So we were coming back from brunch today and like I had my phone like sitting right here. We were at a stoplight and he like called me. Like we're like right next to each other, right? And he called me <laughs> and so I answered the phone because yesterday he wasn't very nice and I said no and I hung up the phone and like put it back down. And he goes, I was gonna be real nice. And I said, what were you gonna say? And he said, I don't even know how he said it, but like, he was like, I just want you to know how absolutely grateful I am for you and I love you. And he just was so genuinely sweet, you know? And it's like, I think that's one of the important things that in like relationships or if, as friendships too, Tanya and I talk about this all the time. 
that it's important for us to like let each other know like how much we care about each other. Tanya and I realized probably about, I don't know how long ago it was, but that we didn't say to each other, I love you. And we like had this conversation about it one night while we were driving around, like why we didn't say it, you know? And then after that, we like always said it and we always, we still say it now, you know? And it's like, I think it's important to let people know how much you care about them and how much they love, you know? I just have this really, I'm like sitting here having this conversation and at the same time I'm in my head and I'm like thinking to myself, I sometimes have this feeling where I'm like, this is so weird that I'm like sitting in a car in a parking lot of a post office. I mean, I'm like literally sitting in front of the post office, look. And uh, this is the post office I go to if you ever wonder. And uh, the Castleton branch. And, um, but I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna post this video tomorrow and then like a couple thousand people will watch it. Like that's so bizarre, isn't it? But like at the same time, it's so cool that so many of you like comment and I don't know, it's just like, I love this channel so much. Like I know people are probably tired of me saying it and they think it's corny and whatever, but I just love this so much and I feel so blessed. Here's my little glasses case. I feel so blessed because sometimes I'm just like, this world I live in is pretty bizarre, you know? Like, and the other thing I think is funny too is that like several years ago, you know, when four and a half years ago, well, almost five years ago now, coming up in May, so four and a half years, when I started BookTube, like, I would never have filmed, a, never have thought in a million years that I would like film a video, like being overweight, because that was like what was gonna keep me from starting, you know, my videos. I never would have come on without like, look at my hair, all my darling Jolene Joes kicking 50 everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I have my hat right here and I was like, no, I just wanna be comfortable and they don't care, so I'm not gonna wear my hat, you know? I look like crap, I've been sitting around all day long and I don't care and I feel completely comfortable with you guys. And, um, I feel so blessed for this. I just, I don't know. I'm at a point where like, YouTube makes me so happy. And um, I'm just, I feel really, really blessed for that, you know? Um, I just, I love it. And I especially love this channel so much. There's no lip gloss left in here. I especially love this channel so much because it's just like hanging out with you guys, you know? And to know that people are like, listen to this before they go to bed or while they're cooking or just listening to it while they drive, like a podcast or whatever. Like, I think that's so cool, you know? And, um, and to just absolutely be able to just talk about whatever I want. I think it's cool. So anyway, so thank you. I appreciate it. And, um, but it is bizarre, isn't it? I mean, ma imagine if you were just like filming yourself or like sitting talking in a car and then people were gonna watch it. I mean, it is kind of weird, you know what I mean? It is, it is kind of weird. And, um, and that's why I think it's like, my friends are like, they don't get it. They're like, there are people that like watch you drive around in a car for an hour. And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, what do you talk about? And I'm like, I talk about books I'm reading and tell memories and talk about you sometimes I just don't say your name you know and they're like and people watch that I'm like yeah they're like, cracks them up but anyway I just want to say thank you. I want to say to you personally since I'm doing this magic book thank you thank you thank you and I love you guys so much and um, if nobody else has told you this today I love you and um, practice uh, random acts of kindness, like I, like I also always say, practice random acts of kindness, put some compassion, love, understanding, forgiveness, even tolerance out there in the world. Like it says in uh, the book, The Four Agreements, always lead with love, and um, like I said, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you, I love you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see you tomorrow, bye. Love you. Oh, and don't forget to tell yourself that today is going to be an amazing day, and you're gonna be happy, joyous, and free all day today. Or if you're watching this before you go to bed, say it for tomorrow. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day today. I love you, bye. Love ya!